Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt where we have uh, arrived in the open world after our first baby steps in the last episode and yeah I'm supposed to follow Vesemir now but I must say I'm a little bit torn between you know <laughs> letting Vesemir be Vesemir and just you know stick around and explore this uh, place but I also want to, you know, progress the story a little bit. So I think I will follow him for now. Um, I have been looking at my map and there seems to be some sort of settlement over here. Um, so maybe once we have arrived there, uh, I will, you know, take a step back and start to explore the area a little bit. Because, um... There's quite a stuff, quite some stuff to look at, and yeah, let me let me go back here. Um, before starting this episode, I have been fiddling around with my graphics setting a little bit to determine the best possible settings that I can use without losing too many frames while recording, and I was able to um, increase a few of them. So most of them are on ultra. Um, Hair works are off, shadow quality is high, grass density is high, and foliage visibility range is low. Because uh, that and the hair works seem to put quite a strain on the um, frames per second. But um, I'm still getting a solid 60 now, and occasionally it drops a little bit, but I've never seen it drop below 55, so I think I'm fine. I have been picking up a few of the herbs that I found around here, but I haven't ventured too far out of uh, this little place here. I've basically stayed on this little patch of grass. I noticed some creatures down there, uh, probably more ghouls, but I think I'm going to ignore them for now and there's a village over there. So yeah, I am I am very tempted to just, you know, go out and explore, but I think we should probably um, at least continue the story a little bit before we start getting sidetracked by exploration. Come on now. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's go and uh, follow Vesemir. Oh, you've been waiting for me. Very nice. <laughs> Slower. Faster. Okay, let's see how all this works. Double press and hold left shift while moving to galop. War is not exactly ah. going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. <laughs> Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins oh. the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Let's have a race, Vesemir. Come on, let's have a race. <laughs> ah, I think he's just matching my speed exactly. <laughs> Come on, Roach. We going? <laughs> Help me! Help! Oh, what's going on? Oh, what is that? It looks big and nasty. Oh, please don't kill Vesemir. <laughs> that would be a shame. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... 
You'd like a reward, I suppose. Well, <laughs> we, we don't have to ask for money for everything, right? You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. <laughs> they also say mice are born of rotting straw. <laughs> Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there. Muddled. You seek someone? Um, yeah, we do. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll <laughs> treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely <laughs> grazed me. But sure. Could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. All right, let's go. Go to the tavern in White Orchard. Um, right, I have to call my horse. There you are. All right. Uh, let's move on. When on a road, hold left shift without steering to automatically follow its path. Your horse won't lose stamina while using this option to automatically follow a road. Oh, okay, very nice. Um, yeah, again, I'm very tempted to just stick around and explore a little bit. But I think uh, going to the tavern, getting a drink, getting Slow some information might be a good idea. And after that, we will go, go. Um, look around a little bit. All right, let's go. So can I... So, a griffin this close to the village? How does it work? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In a forest of the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road? Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Hmm. Populated areas. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft and also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witches and local happenings. Alright, this is familiar. Men too. Oh. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Alright. We have arrived at the village and this is a tavern. Okay. Let me park my horse. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. Well, you have accepted the new order of things very quickly. <laughs> I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. <laughs> Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. <laughs> Pretty much. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? 
Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Dialogue shops option marks marked with the back will open the shop panel. Okay. Um Oh I got some chicken legs. <laughs> so is there a contract on the griffin? There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. Mm. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. All right. So yeah, pretty busy place. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Okay. Anyway, let's have a look at her shop. Show me what you got behind the counter. Shops. Buy and sell items using the shop panel. Double click on an item to purchase it. Press escape to close the shop panel. Alright. Straightforward enough. A Gwent card. Decoy. Catapult Gwent card. Blue stripes commando Gwent card. Crinfrid Reavers Dragon Hunter Gwent card. Foltest Gwent card. There seems to be some sort of card game. Um, how much money do I have? 250 orans, okay. Um, we have some alcohol. It's pretty expensive though. Maybe I'm just going to buy a little bit of bread. Yeah, let's let's get some bread. To regen some health if I need to. And I don't know, should I buy should I buy the cards? I feel I should get the Faultus Gwen card. It seems to be I mean it's a common item, but let's let's buy the card. Maybe we can find out more about these cards. And yeah, I think I'm I'm fine for now. I don't really have that much <laughs> money, so let's let's leave it for now. All right, yeah, we are looking for a woman. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled <laughs> that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. <laughs> Plenty of travelers <laughs> about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. All right. Um, dialogue and the conversations. Dialogue options marked with the uh, speech bubble will end the conversation. Okay, this is uh, useful information. <laughs> okay, thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. <laughs> then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. <laughs> As Black if we don't been out measuring the fields. draw attention enough already. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. <laughs> So apparently, um, I received a Gwent card. Well, I bought it. Um, I had a look at my inventory before. So, 
I have a vague idea how to use it. Okay, this is a map. Alchemy. Oh, I had, I didn't look at this before. <laughs> um. Okay, substances. Okay. If you select the crafting diagram or alchemy formula and pin it, a list of the components or ingredients needed to create it that will appear in the shop panel. That makes it easier to keep track of what you still need to acquire. Oh, this is us useful. Crafting. Only blacksmith can forge weapon and only armorers can craft armor. Okay, this is kind of like the last game. Look for the icons on the map and minimap. I don't have any books. This is my uh, codex, tutorials, more codex. Andrews in the best year will provide additional information about monsters, including tips and strategies for how to best fight them. Okay. I think I can deal with that. Um, so, how do I look at my my cards. Do, 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 do. Crafting, quest items, this is Jennifer's letter, food and drink, armor. Um, I may have to take a closer look at this later. There's so much new information here. And yeah, I do have to catch up on my reading. I haven't I haven't done that so far. Um right, meditation. I understand character. Ooh, this is a completely new system as well. These are my quests. All the quests you have accepted are listed here to see more information about a quest, click on it. Collect them all. Complete your collection of Gwent cards. In his previous adventures, Geralt had gained fame as a master dice poker player. Yet having mastered all challenges in his area, he had no choice but to find another in which to garner more <laughs> laurels. He thus decided to take up Gwent, and since he aimed to play at the highest levels, he felt he had to gather a complete collection of all the cards available, including some which could only be had by winning them off the best players around. Oh, now Geralt is... A card collector. How nerdy. <laughs> um yeah, but I don't want to make this active. I don't I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um I see, so I need to find more of these cards. So maybe I should buy them all, but I don't think I have enough money to buy them all for now, so I may have to uh earn some money first. Okay, uh yeah, maybe we can talk to some of these people here, so let's let's do this. I'm looking for someone. And we <laughs> seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Um Dialogue Axie. Options marked Axie will make use of the Axie sign. This sign influences people's mind, causing them to act according to your will. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist you in your conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Sure, let's try this. They they don't look uh very <laughs> uh, hard to influence. Raven haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Mm -hmm. Talk. Ooh. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> See, he doesn't even need the axe if he <laughs> just looks threatening enough. <laughs> Yeah, Carol is old, up to his old Jedi tricks again. Be gone! We'll not talk to you. I, uh, oh, I've drunk enough. My head's <laughs> spinning. Take the hooch. Just All through. right. Um, can we talk to the innkeeper lady again? Something what? else you'll be needing. Um. So, are the Nilfgaardians treating you well? 
Nilfgaardian rule to your liking? What's there to like? It is the same as any other. They tax us, requisition this or that. But they do keep the peace in the village, I'll grant them that. You don't mourn Tamaria's passing? I mourned it round half a year back, when King Foltes was cut down. Huh. Now, now I just want peace. I can see that. All right. Farewell. Oh well. Um, there are more people that I can talk to, so let's do this. I, uh, oh, I've drunk enough. Me head's oh, spinning. Oh, the same. Take the hooch. It's wizardry. Also, this cat is very aggressive. Um, so let's talk to some of the people over here. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. <laughs> Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Oh. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. <laughs> know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Well, Yennefer is very real, but I'm not sure if she's the horsewoman of war. <laughs> Maybe she is. Uh, so, why exactly are you here? You seem to be a little bit too important to be in a little tavern like this. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I <laughs> seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Well, I can respect that. Hm. Yeah, I think I think it's uh, important that people, you know, make chronicles of stuff like this. So, if you if you want to do this, then I won't be stopping you. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. <laughs> rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Yeah, um... You may find that war is not uh, like in the books you've read before. <laughs> so, has the war made it to Novigrad yet? War reached Novigrad yet? Nope, but it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars <laughs> especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Okay, um, that makes sense. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Yeah, Geralt, you want to become a collector and you want to master a new game, so of course we're going to play this. Options marked with the cards will begin a game of Gwent. Okay, yes, show me the rules. Hmm, why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. Do you want to begin the Gwent tutorial? Yes. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. You will go first. Okay, what do I do? Choose a card to redraw. To begin you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards so 
use these li wisely. Well, how am I supposed to know uh, good cards? So... Oh, look at this! Unit card strength. This is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. Okay. This is a unit's combat row icon. This icon indicates a row on the battlefield where the card can be played. Uh, you have close combat, range combat and siege combat. Some unit cards have special abilities. This cat when he siege expert special abilities called Moral Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in its same row. Okay. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Hmm. That's really useful. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw. Okay, but let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Right, um... Here's the battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's side. <laughs> During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Okay. Press enter to select the card from your hand. Press enter again to place it on the battlefield. Your turn. Ooh, ooh, okay, what do I have? Can I, like, look at them? Ah, this is the Cat Bunny Siege Expert. Sabrina Glevesic, the daughter of the Cat Bunny Wilderness. Sheldon Skaggs. I was there on the front lines, right where the fighting was the thickest. <laughs> Secret of Denisel. <laughs> we are on the same side, which I will realize this one day. I wonder what ever happened to him. Kira Metz. If I am to die today, I wish to look smashing for the occasion. <laughs> okay. Death mode. I once made a prisoner vomit his own entrails. <laughs> but... I mean, I bought a Fortis card. Honey, I'm not using the Fortis card, no. And I have a Ballista, and this is a weather card, right? Biting Frost sets the strength of all close combat cards to one for both players. And Torrential Rain sets the strength of all siege combat cards to one for both players. Okay, um, I have no idea what I'm doing, so <laughs> I guess I'm just going to place a random card and see how it works. Um, I have a few strong ones. Come on, let's let's uh, send out secret first. I don't know if it's a good idea to send out the strong ones first or if I should start, you know, with the low ones. But I mean, I have to learn somehow. Let's let's send secret to the front line. There we go. Total strength. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. Passing. During your turn, you can pass by holding down space. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win the with the units you already have in play or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. Ooh. End of round. And round ends once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strength of their units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded and both players' total strength is reset to zero. Alright. Oh, well, this didn't start so well. <laughs> okay, I see. Um, maybe I'm going to uh, send out my ballista. There we go.
Well, great. He's totally ruining all my forces. <laughs> okay, but I think I understand how this works. Um, so what else do I have? I have, I have a few ranged one. Let's uh, send a ranged one as well. Okay. But I mean, by using all those weather cards, he wasn't able to put out any cards that actually have strengths on them, so I'm doing a lot better in terms of strength. Um, and somehow I feel that he probably won't have another weather card, so maybe I should just add a few more ranged people. Right? Yeah. I mean I'm doing I'm doing pretty good on that account. Um so how many how many rounds do I have to play? So maybe I should just pass at some point to save my cards for the next round. Um Okay, I can zoom. This is my l my leader cut. Oh, is this fall test? I think this is fall test. Ah, I see. He's a he's a leader. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to pass now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I mean, he can only put stuff in the range category for some real effect. I don't know. Let's play another one for the range category. And maybe then we will pass. Yeah, I mean, his cards seem to be pretty low, so I think I'm going to pass now. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, 12. The player who loses a round also loses a life gem. The game is over once a player has lost both life gems. Okay, so I I won the round, yeah, because he couldn't he couldn't match my my number. Okay, so it was a good idea to play at least one more card, and it probably was a good idea to pass to save my cards. Okay, not a realms faction ability triggered. Your turn. Why do I always have to start? only makes it possible for him to use a weather card. So maybe I should just start with a low one. I mean, this guy, he can't be <laughs> uh, stopped by any weather because his strength is just zero. So uh, let's play him. Clear weather. Oh. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> Um, in this case, let's uh, play Death Mold. And apparently he can't actually do anything anymore. In this case, I will pass as well. And there we go! Woohoo! Why won! <laughs> Victory! There is no shame in passing and letting your oppo opponent win a round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards, immune to the effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. Finding cards. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from vendors. Okay, um, very nice. I think well, I have a rough idea. Well, you've a knack for this game. <laughs> if you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. All right. Very nice. I know how to play Gwent, a miraculous guide to Gwent. Books and scrolls. Use A and D to switch between unread books and scrolls. Once you read, they are added to the books panel in the glossary. Alright. I will have a look at that later. Um, let's have a save. New item received. Zoltan Shiva. Oh, I have a Zoltan card now. Very nice. 
Uh, let's talk to this guy as well. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Mm. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. Huh? <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. If you say so. Sure. Um, if you if you are paying, I I'll have a drink. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Jennifer of Wengerberg. Ooh. He knows something. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. <laughs> Come help me. All right. Um, so, yeah, how do you know her? How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of, oh, course. of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. <laughs> it's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Well, apparently you have uh, heard Dandelion's balance. <laughs> but let's ask the obvious anyway. So, you know who I am? Recognize me from Master Dandelion's <laughs> ballads too? To your health. That's not an answer. <laughs> but yeah, who might you be? What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim at your service. Vagrant, that a profession now? Ah, <laughs> uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Okay. Anyway, tell me about Yennefer. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? <laughs> If it was, uh, why is this your business? Um. Hmm. It is none of his business, but he may be more forthcoming if I if I agree. Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. <laughs> what do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. Well, this is actually some useful information. We men information. of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble, and you'll be nearby to help. Hmm. Well, I do like your attitude. Okay, so, um, ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. Uh-huh. We found our first lead. By the way, is there anything in this place that I want to take along? Well, look at this. Stash. Oh, you can store weapons, armor, and junk in your stash for safekeeping, confident that they will not be stolen or otherwise disappear. You can access your stash in a number of places throughout the world. Items stored in your stash in one location will be available in other locations as well. Yes, I know how this works, um, but I don't really have anything to store. <laughs> I'm very poor and I have very little stuff on me. Yeah, I have a bunch of herbs that I collected. Uh, in between episodes, but that's about it. So, oh, I can uh, extinguish the candles, which I don't really want to. Uh, I can't loot any of your boxes, apparently. I can leave the door, but let me make sure that there's nothing in here. And the aggressive cat again. So, do you have anything to say? Yes. What is it, Wolf? <laughs> Been on the past for half a year now. Yes, let's reminisce. 
Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Though that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. <laughs> Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. <laughs> used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. <laughs> Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Well, and how old are you? See you later, Vesemir. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I talked to everyone in here, so I may actually want to go outside again. Woo! Done drinking. What do you mm -hmm. want? Then fuck off! <laughs> Don't want your kind here. <laughs> um. Yeah, sure. Let's try to axe them. Haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of <laughs> course no. I, uh, you done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft! Get him! It's probably not a good idea to use the axe yet when... Oh! Well... There... Oh, I can... Can I fist fight them? Well, this makes sense. I don't want to kill every stupid peasant who's looking for a fight, right? Nice meeting you. So if I can just... <laughs> punch them in the face... That's fine with me. Alright! Um, oh, this is my horse, right? Yes, it's my horse. Anyway, um, I think I think I'm going to uh, make a cut here. Um, I know there's a notice board somewhere in this place, right? Yes, I will have a look at the notice board because there's probably some contracts, and then I will start exploring this place, the town and the surroundings. So, um, yeah, there's lots of stuff for me to look at. I think. I mean, just look at this place. So yeah, look forward to that in the next episode. And as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.